Welcome to rubbercard.com. Hello guys, we are back with another conceptually interesting project. For this, you would need a breadboard 2.2k ohm resistor, LEDs of different colors if you want to, potentiometer, battery and battery connectors, jumper wires, mail to mail. Now, let us start. First, take the breadboard and the LEDs. The longer pin is the positive terminal is also known as cathode and the shorter pin which is the negative terminal is also known as anode. You have to connect LED on the breadboard and you would need three of them. Let us connect the resistors. For now, I am connecting only one red LED with its respective resistor of 2.2k ohm and uh, later on I would connect the other two. So the one end of the resistor would connect to the positive terminal of the LED and the other terminal would connect to the data pin of the potentiometer. The potentiometer has three pins. The outer two pins are used for ground and VCC while the middle is for the data. Connect the potentiometer's VCC to the battery's positive terminal and the ground pin to the negative terminal of the battery. By using the jumper wire, connect the negative terminal of the LED to the negative terminal of the battery. Now, let us complete the connection of the other two LEDs in the same way. After connecting all the LEDs, now connect the battery. So, connect the battery and now you can move the knob or the rotor of the potentiometer and based on its movements, the resistance on the potentiometer would change and hence the intensity of the LEDs would change too. If the knob is on the extreme left side then the intensity is the lowest and if it is on the right side the intensity is the highest so that is how you can indicate the battery current level using LEDs. thank you guys please like and subscribe our channel and turn on the notification bell to be the first viewer of our next video thank you